days are getting longer. Saturdays, if I get the chance, get a break for lunch, which actually is breakfast. You know, let's get up in O dark 30 in the morning. Gonna be at work at 5. I like to come to uh, Town Topic. There's three of them. And this one is over here on uh, Baltimore. And uh, I've gotten back on the kick since. Uh, I realized that they grind their coffee fresh and it's really good coffee. Usually diners don't have very good coffee. Like typical, but Town Topic does. And um, the people here are really nice and uh, food is good. I have the one, two, three. Now I know Suyan's trying to re jump start our diet and I, you know it's not going to help my diet at all, but I'm doing this limiting myself to once a week. And it's good to uh, to relax, especially you know this is my Monday morning, and you know the morning live shots kind of kind of a rough start to the week. So if I can get away and and just kind of spend a little time getting my head together, and you know for lunch, and then I got to go back to work. So which is what I'm about to do. Back into it. Woohoo! Late January is when you start seeing the days get longer and, and a few nice days start creeping into the mix. You know, it's not all snow and ice and misery and gray. You know, around here, Kansas City, Midwest, and uh, yeah, so you start seeing some signs of spring. There's a few nice days. I'm just leaving work and sometimes on my way home I go through this park. They've been trying to clean this park up. It's had kind of a bad reputation in the city because prostitution and drugs. You know, part of what they've been doing is clearing the underbrush 
making it to where people can't hide in the woods or you know it's an unfortunate because it's not the intended use of a park you want to do that kind of thing there I guess there are places it's still illegal but there are much more private places that that can happen and you don't have to expose the general public to it back to my my real topic not the park I guess I felt a need to explain that because I didn't want to give the impression that I cruise through the park for other reasons actually it's a kind of a shortcut because we can't turn left on southwest traffic way which goes right to this ramp to the highway so a lot of people go through the parkway instead but yeah and you know the park since they've cleaned it up is a real nice uh, nice little drive especially after work using the on-camera mic and this guy's let me in and I must say that I have some nice vistas on my drive my drive is not very short or not very long sorry not very long as far as commutes go there's not a lot of traffic any time of the day that I drive it so living in kind of a suburban setting we kind of have the uh, advantages of the urban which is sort of why we decided to live where we live oh, I can see this mount shaking this camera all over the place kind of giving it down it's not a great thing yeah you know we got downtown here and they had too many too many cameras going on one camera's in front of the other and you know you watch as soon as I, I speak in this drive there'll be like a big traffic jam caused by a wreck or something that's usually even the even the traffic jams aren't bad when we get traffic clogs that don't usually take long live north of the river which means we cross over the Broadway Bridge and it's the one area that tends to clog all the time as far as traffic goes because you're leaving the downtown loop this is the downtown loop it goes all the way around downtown basically interstate you're leaving the loop and you hit a light this Broadway interchange here stops up traffic pretty good I'm glad it's not utilized more heavily than it is because uh, otherwise it would be a real mess every day it's something to be avoided but you know even the worst of rush hour it usually doesn't have more than a few minutes delay to people's time Usually on this corner we have a, a lot of homeless guys who like to apply their trade here. Which I don't like, not necessarily because of the homeless guys, but because it's not very safe. It's a blind corner and they like to stand right on the corner and there's no sidewalk or anything. So yeah, someday there'll be an unfortunate incident. Like today I got quite a few of the corners covered yeah and this is a Missouri River and cross over the Broadway Bridge and it is very pleasant and then we hit uh, 
We're on 169 heading north. This is the replacement for the old Jefferson Highway. And um, once you cross over the Broadway Bridge here, we have what we like to call planes, trains, and automobiles because you have the downtown airport, you have the highway here, and then the Burlington Northern Santa Fe rail yard. And every so often you get the plane train, what I, we call the plane train. Um, it's a train loaded with Boeing fuselages. And the fuselages are, are made in uh, Boeing's Wichita plant and then they, they ship them up to uh, Washington, I think, to have the rest of the plane put on, the wings and the engines and everything else. So these are 727s and they head north usually through here. So it's like planes, trains, and automobiles and planes on trains. I know, not that funny. But it's cool nonetheless. You see airplane fuselages going past you and then right over here you see airplanes sometimes taking off and flying right over your head. But anyway, enough of this boorishness.